The COVID-19 virus is already impacting athletes in Tokyo, with less than a week to go until the start of the Olympics. Olympic organizers revealing today two athletes staying at the Olympic Village tested positive for COVID-19. They did not disclose their identities, but say the two were from the same country competing in the same sport. A third athlete not staying at the village also testing positive. So far, 55 people connected to the Olympics have tested positive for the virus this month, including several members of the media and at least one member of the International Olympic Committee. There is no such thing as zero risk, and that we all agree. At the same time, the mingling and crossing of population is incredibly limited. Now that doesn't bring much comfort to many Japanese citizens who have for months urged officials to cancel the games because of surging case numbers in Tokyo. Many participating in another round of demonstrations this morning protesting the arrival of IOC President Thomas Bach. But the protests against the Olympics are doing little to stop the games as more athletes arrive in Japan, including 147 competitors from Team Australia who all underwent COVID-19 testing before for entering the country. The torch ceremony also continued in Tokyo, reduced to a staged ceremony instead of a relay run. Organizers are warning athletes and volunteers to prepare for the summer heat and to stay hydrated as temperatures rose across Japan ahead of the opening.